Hey everybody, this is DJ Tavernier with River Valley Construction Group. We're proud to be a major sponsor again this year with the Mishawaka Athletic Department. And I know we all can't be in the stands to watch the cavemen play. So what better way to watch or listen to them play than on a brand new deck in your backyard? So go to rivervalleycg.com and find out how I'm going to give you $500 cash. Hey, it's that time again. I'm here with the head coach, Keith Kinder, on the Keith Kinder Coaches Show and getting ready for a big sectional game. We're opening up the sectional. This is a semifinal game, and it's also a conference game against Goshen, Coach. Yeah, you know, we're really excited about the opportunity. It's been two weeks since we've played, so we're, you know, we're itching to get back on the field. Um, obviously, like you said, can win the, win the conference with, with a win, but also get to advance and play for, you know, sectional championship next week. So uh, really excited to, to see our kids play. In any tournament in Indiana, you start all over. Uh, do you take that approach that you're zero and zero, or do you take the approach that we're kind of on a roll here, guys? Let's keep it going. Yeah, you know, with the with the weird way that you know it kind of ends up being a conference championship game. We've talked a little bit more about that this week than we normally would, but uh, you know, uh, we've we've also warned our kids about you know what happened to New Prairie last week against Plymouth. You know, Plymouth was a one-win team that that you know beat a five win team in the tournament and, and the situation is the same for us you know we've won five games Goshen's only won one but you know uh, they're capable of beating us if we don't you know if we don't play well so um, we're excited about the opportunity but we've got to play well uh, to win the ball game. What did you learn about your team uh, in the week off or maybe what did you do with your team to educate them and, and to t maybe get to the next step? You know, we, we focused on fundamentals last week and, and the couple days that we had them out on the field, but the biggest goal for me was to get our kids healthy. You know, we had some kids banged up and uh, just kind of get them, you know, refreshed and get their batteries recharged. It's a long season. Um, it's, it's not an easy sport to play. The recovery time, the turnaround time in, in high school football uh, is a challenge. They're, you know, so it was, it was nice to have that bye week. It was nice for our coaches to kind of have a weekend to, to spend time with their family. So I think it just kind of rejuvenated everybody. And hopefully we're playing for several more weeks and, and this week will have been good for us. I don't know if you've ever been more thankful to get to the playoffs, to have this opportunity, to, to give your kids a chance to make memories. Yeah, you know, uh, in March, April, May, June, we were wondering where, you know, were we even going to have a season? And you know, to, to get to this point, um, uh, we're really blessed. Uh, we feel like we've done a good job following the guidelines, and and just grateful for you know the, the IHSAA, our administration team, our athletic department, our support staff, everyone who has made this possible. We're, we're grateful for that because regardless of the outcome of Friday's game or or when our season ends. Uh, our kids got to make some some really cool memories uh, on the football field, and, and that's what being a high school football player is all about. And just thinking about this week, what are the keys to victory for Mishawaka? I got to get off to a fast start. You know, uh, I think about the Wawasee game where you know we didn't play particularly well in the first half and turned it over a couple of times, and you know they're driving late in the first half in a, in a one-score game, and you know I think if if we let them hang around and 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 we don't take care of the football and we don't tackle well and we give up big plays. I think the longer we we keep them in the game, the the worse off we're going to be. So I really want to have a really strong first quarter, um, uh, and then you know see what happens from there. Think about all the great things that you've been able to accomplish this year, especially after a start. Uh, it's been awesome to see you put the belief in the Mishawaka kids and the Mishawaka community. And now Friday night, you have a chance to win a championship and put yourself in position for another championship. Yeah, I appreciate that. We're, you know, I, I believe that this is the best coaching that our, our coaches have done uh, in my time at Mishawaka, you know, to, to think about the start that we had. and. Uh, we, we challenged ourselves to coach better, to play better, um, and to make that commitment. It's, it's a, when you're 0-3, you're staring down a long barrel, and you're not, it doesn't seem like you can dig yourself out of the hole. And the only way to do that is to have the commitment to get better every single day. And our coaches have done that. Our kids have done it. Um, and we don't take it for granted that we're playing for another trophy. You know, there, there are people that do this for 30 years and, and don't get the opportunities that we've been fortunate enough to have these past three seasons. Um, and we, we always tell our kids our, our favorite championship is the next one. So um, we've got hungry kids that, that want to hold the trophy tomorrow night, that want to hold the trophy next week. Uh, 
and I'm excited to see them go out and try to earn that. All right, good luck Friday night. All right, thanks. Go Cavemen.